Hey folks, this is Billy D. K. Y. the truth seeker who simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be who I am I. It's going to be a response to Millis, which I'm just going to assume it's a girl. I may be completely wrong. Anyway, it basically all boils down to one thing. I seek the truth to live fully. You know, basically, my life got off course and I didn't know why I was getting off course because I didn't really do anything that violated what most people would consider right. But it did get off course, and basically what I figured out was it boils down to two things. Ego and pleasure basically steal your life away. So to, to live fully, and especially as you get older, you have to go against ego and pleasure to live fully. And so basically that's why I seek the truth. I don't seek the truth because, you know, I'm some pious guy or anything like that. I do it because I want to live fully, and I treat people right because I want to live fully. So that's how I came to seeking the truth and and basically uh, the MMA videos I do those because I like to get dual purpose out of things that I do so I, I enjoy watching fighting and I like to see who's gonna win I like to think about it and analyze it but also I want I want to learn some skills that can, it may actually help save my life sometime when I'm on the street some guy does something and I think oh yeah I, you know my mind sort of already pre it has, it has, it's, the thought has already been there. Oh, I can do this and do the arm bar, I can bite. You know, I may do some things you can't even do in MMA. Like, you know, I've thought through some things in my, on my own mind. I said, what would I do if some guy did this to me on the street? You know, put me in an arm bar or something. I didn't know how to, you know, I might just body jugular vein, you know. So, I like to get dual purpose out of the things I do. Plus, I've got some Native American in me, so it's, they like to fight. So, I've got the fighting gene in me. Um... Plus, I mean, just if you want to survive, you need to learn how to fight to some extent, or at least how to defend yourself. So that's sort of why I like MMA. Um, okay, let's go back to the truth thinking. I learned the truth in my everyday... My, I learned how to seek the truth in my everyday life. I didn't learn it by, you know, going to a monastery or a Buddhist temple. I learned it right where I was at every day, just learning. And basically, my my best philosophy for learning is um, if it works do it if it doesn't work quit doing it and pay attention so you can learn a difference and notice the humility in that you're not assuming you already know you're open-minded but that's why I say you need to be open-minded but you don't want to be gullible either or at least not you can be gullible for a while but not too long so basically I learned the truth through my everyday life and I didn't go off running to some like I say, temple, which some guy told at the beginning of my journey, I was telling him, hey, I'm a truth seeker, and guy, you need to go to the temple. I was like, I don't want to go to the temple. I want to learn it right here where I'm at, because guess where I'm going to use it after I get done to the temple? Right here. So I might as well just learn it right here. Why waste my time going off, sitting somewhere off from everybody, where everybody's nice to me? I want to be right here where people are rude, and I have to learn how to deal with it. So, and basically, what I've, and then when I started deciding to, to teach what I've learned, because it really does work, and it really does make your life a lot better, and I was like, well, first I was just going to have a spiritual channel, but then I was like, you know what, I didn't learn this from going to a strict spiritual place. I, I learned it by living my ordinary day life and, and seeing it in every single aspect of my life, and most importantly, I've seen it in reality. You know, outside, the grass growing, the trees growing, I see it everywhere, so... And then I start thinking, you know, what's the best way to teach people is basically to not even realize you're teaching them. So basically, I've, I've really sort of come to realize you should just do what you want to do and who you are will come across and those little wisdoms will come out. You know, and you're basically, and it goes back to my first um, first principle in my, in my falling away of growth, which is baby steps. Which if I'm interacting with you in MMA and I give out little truths here and there that, that you've never really considered... I'm growing you and you don't even realize you're growing. I don't even realize I'm teaching. And that's the most beautiful way, you know, things grow is you don't even realize you're doing it. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I realize is the best way. Because, I mean, we've all been approached by Christians who want to convert you to their way of thinking and are nice only because they feel like they want to convert you. You know, and that's really pretty annoying. And, you know, and I don't, I don't like being fake and I don't like people being fake with me. I don't like people manipulating me. And I don't like to manipulate nobody. So I figure the best way is just to be me, talk about the things that I'm really interested in and the truths that I've learned to sort of spill over. And if you know if you find it interesting, then you'll want to maybe dig a little deeper. Hey, who is this guy? He's got some interesting thoughts. And maybe you'll go look at the blog. You know, so... And if you notice, too, when I do the MMA uh, post-fight videos, I don't, 
I don't save the best fight to the last, so you have to wade through eight minutes of listening to me to listen to the last fight. No, I talk about the most interesting stuff up front because I hate it when I watch a video and people waste my time talking about the fights that I don't care about first, you know, because they want me to watch the whole video. So, let's see, what else about me? Um, I think that's pretty much it. Like I say, my life got off course, and I, I needed to get it on course, and it's seeking the truth, what got me back on course, and and once what I found is what takes you from the bottom to normal will also take you normal to amazing. So, you know, this growth thing goes its whole life, and just like if you watch a tree, it'll grow its whole life until close to the end. You know, then it's sort of just, you know, it's sort of decay mode. But uh, I don't know. You know, it's just basically how it is. You just. And, you know, lies really... Oh, here's something else I want to say. Basically, I confront lies like in the Bible and in other places like Alex Jones and stuff like that because um, lies hurt people. You know, a lie may make you feel better in the short run, but in the long, in the, in the long run, it's going to hurt you. Like, let's say you got a booger hanging out of your nose. No, let's say, let's say you got a new hair. Let's say you're a girl and you got a new haircut. And what do all the women do? Oh, it looks so good. And even let's say it looks total crap. Everybody knows it's crap. But the women will tell you that tell you, oh, it looks so good and good. And they'll let you go around for a whole month with a crappy haircut where you ask a guy, how's my haircut? He goes, eh, you know, I don't like it at all. I think it sucks. So then you go, boom, you go to the back to the beauty shop, you get it changed. So the guy actually helped you, even though he insulted you in the, in the short term. In the long run, he helped you because he helped you look more beautiful over that whole month. So. I found that lies doesn't help me, and plus, lies really don't make life interesting at all. What makes life interesting is the truth. You know, we watch Hollywood movies, but I'll be honest with you, the truths I've discovered on my journey of seeking the truth are more amazing than any Hollywood movie I could have ever imagined. I'm like, holy crap, is that really what's going on? That is, and it's just like crazy. And then you realize you're your own worst enemy, like, how in the hell does, that's weird, you know, and it's just like, and, and then when you feel the power of that little, when you feel issues that you've had your whole life all of a sudden just dissipate, you're like, wow, that is amazing. I want to share that with other people. And then you start sharing it, and then you get people fighting you. And you're like, why are they fighting this for? It's, it's, I'm trying to help them, don't they see? <laughs> then you realize, you know, okay, not everybody's ready to want to hear this at the same time. So, But once you really start feeling that power, man, it's just, uh. And then, once you understand life at its core essence that it boils down to growth, then it allows you to back into other things that you not, didn't think you would ever understand. That now it's like, it's so easy to understand. It's like, oh my gosh. Like Alex Jones, I never thought I'd figure him out. Excuse me, like I did. But I mean, it's obvious now what's going on with him. And I'll be doing a video on that. And just like the Bible. When I first read the Bible, I didn't have no idea. I was open-minded. I was reading through it. I mean, I didn't really think it was going to help me, but... I got to a point where my life was off track, and I had to give something a try. I was like, well, I'm going to put both feet into this. I'm going to be open-minded. I'm going to try my best to follow it and find some good people to be with to do this. And, you know, it didn't work. And, you know, I also gave science a try, and science didn't really have an answer. So, really, boil all boils down that you really got to find it for yourself, and other people can help you, give you good insights and where to look and how to think. And that's really what the blog I've got out there is about, is just trying to, you know, shorten shorten your journey on where you should be looking you know instead of letting people get you whacked out getting caught caught up in a cult or something like this so basically this channel is about enjoying life to the fullest and and, re and basically you do that by removing lies and i don't know it's just it's just about living fully that's what it's really about for me so maybe that gives you some insight to who i am if you want to know more ask another question and i'll probably do another video Cause I'm an open book. I personally just, I don't have nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, later, folks.